What's up guys? Mikey and I are out after our club hunt doing a little bit of metal detecting and I'm going to show you something real quick. The old Plugmaster Ford's been known to swing the CTX. Check that out. I have now switched over to the Amphibio Multi. Now, it's going to take me a while to learn it so you guys are going to have to learn right along with me. Why did I give up a $2,500 machine for a $750 machine? Mikey had one. and He was out deep in me everywhere we went in dry conditions. Wet conditions, the CTX was right on. But in the dry, it wouldn't hold a candle to this Amphibio. So, I got myself one and today's the maiden voyage. In fact, it's going crazy right now because I have my phone out. But, Practicing in this yard, I got a signal, good signal. I kid you not, it was on top of the ground, and I want you to see this. Check this out. On top of the ground, I already picked it up, threw it right back down on the ground. It was a one wiper. Can you guys see what it is? One wiper, look. It's an Indian. Not deep at all. I will always remember this, because this was my first Indian 1900 that's actually the year this house was built so that is awesome 1900 Indian first Indian with the Amphibio I am tickled as all get out with that guys we hunt in the summer all the time and for me to be giving up that kind of distance or that kind of depth to an Amphibio wasting those 1850s permissions is why I switched over so Gonna take me a while. Hope you bear with me, but I am excited. Woohoo! First Indian in the pocket. Well, I hate to say I'm starting to get the hang of this thing because I really don't feel like I am, but I did dig about where his feet are. I dug a weed a while ago and I just popped another one. Don't know if this one's very old, but this one was pretty deep. What'd you break right there, Mikey? Well, it's a tag of some sort and it was already broken. I didn't break it, but it, see, it's got a hoe in it. Uh -huh. It doesn't have anything on it, but. It could have been a, a dog tag at one time. Yeah, it could have been. Let's say, let's see how old this one might be. If we can get it to focus. See, come on, baby, focus. Um, I'm not sure. Well, Mike's still over at the other house doing cleanup on me. You can see him over there. I moved next door over here. Uh, I've dug a penny so far. Coming through a lot of fill right on this edge, so I'm not sure if they did some dirt work or not. We'll see as we go, but had uh I don't even know what kind of signal to tell you, a 66, and I got myself a watch. Not a very old one, it's an advance. Got some bling to it, some fake stonage, and that's about it. So that'll be junk, but maybe we can get something better. There's not a whole lot of targets uh, in the yard so far. I'm just kind of doing the perimeter right here, but I just got this signal. And uh, this one hit about a 71. And I saw those grooves and I kind of knew what it was. So flipped her over and I cleaned her up a little bit. As you can see, it's a printer's plate. Let me zoom in. It's going to be backwards words, of course. Not sure what it says right now. It's a little bit too hard for me to see, but maybe you guys can make out some of it. I will flip a picture and show you once I get her all cleaned up. But tickled with that. Hey guys, I want to break in here just for a second and thank all of you who have gotten a hold of me via email asking about what kind of metal detector they should get uh, or coils. Uh, had quite a few people contact me about coils as well. Uh, thank you all of you. Hopefully I've been of a help. I know there's been quite a few that have taken advantage of the discounts that I'm able to get and I want to continue to throw that out. Guys, PlugmasterFord uh, at gmail.com if you want to email me. Uh, see what kind of a deal I can get you on a new machine. Now, I'm using the Amphibio, and this video you're seeing was the absolute first day I had gotten it. I got it the night before. DHL delivered it like at 6 o'clock at night. Woke up the next morning, club hunt, first thing in the morning, and then Mike and I went door knocking. So this is what you're seeing today, and guess what? I also have a Simplex on order, and by the time you're seeing this video, I could have it. So Going to probably mix things up and put some Simplex videos out ahead of some of the Amphibio videos, but um, impressed so far with the Snoke to Macro. So, anyway, back to the hunt. Well, I've come out to the backyard here and piddling around a little bit. 
not going to stay too long because the mosquitoes are bad, but dug a lot of shotgun head stamps in this small little backyard. But came over here and I had an 88 to 91 signal. So I thought, hmm, could be something good. Um, this came out first, which was actually laying on top. But check this out. I threw out a fob. Not touched it yet. It's definitely a fob. What is it? Some secret society. Yeah. I am not sure. If you guys know what it is at this point, type it in for me. Is it the all seeing eye? No. LCS. The ladies home. Some the something. Anyway, that is cool. That'll be something to research anyway and kind of get an idea how old it is. Junior. It says Junior member of the LCS, so probably for a child. Anyway, that's fantastic. It's got some writing on the back, so I'll clean that up and include a picture where you guys can see what it says. So that's cool. I always love finding fobs, and that one is a dandy. Mikey's joined me and I was quizzing him. I'm back up in the front yard and I told him, I said, I got a solid 67, just barely underground. What is it? He said, Zinc Penny. He would lose this round because it's a harmonica reed. Mikey, a harmonica reed. Really? I got a penny. Did you? Yeah. What'd that hit? About 71? Yeah. So, Mikey with a wheat. I don't know where we stand. That's his second one, so I think we're tied. So I'm gonna have to get after it right now. Mikey and I are out on a Monday, trying to squeeze in a hunt before the radio show. He got us permission at an 1881 built, nice little yard. Not a ton of space, but we'll get by on it. I'm swinging the nine and a half by five inch coil on the Amphibio today, I'm excited about it. I'm learning the machine and uh, Man, we've had some good luck on this street that we're on right now, so hopefully this one will produce. We'll see. Well, I'm working around the edge here, heading towards the backyard, I'm trying to get used to it. I did some settings that Darnell recommended on his Amphibio, and uh, had a good si signal here. It was down between some roots, and I just popped it out, and I'm wondering if it's a dog tag. It's hold. I hit it a little bit it was I mean this is root that's root everything's root here don't know exactly what it is popped it out and wanted to look so it's got a number on it looks like you guys see that 132 probably gonna be like a, or 152 uh oh I just dropped it I lost it don't know what the other side says on it let me put it on my britches real quick See if that gives us anything. Get it in the sun here, and I don't think there's anything on that one. Not that I can see, so probably just a tool check tag of some sort. Nothing spectacular. 159, 152, that's it. Yeah, it's cool, fine. Hopefully we can get on something a little better. We'll see. Well, that was pretty cool. I had to reopen the hole again. Um, dug the first one like on this side of the roots. Swung over and got some more hits and check it out. I popped two more out. I assume they're going to be similar. Numbered, yeah. That one's a 132 maybe. And then another one. Which is 132 as well. So or 130 something yeah 132 maybe that's what the other one was too but i don't know i already put it away but i've checked the hole don't believe there's any more unless they're spread a little bit so you know we'll check back at the back fence here and i got to tell you that the processors on this machine this amphibio are fast now let me tell you i just pulled out two pieces of iron put the plug back Got another signal that was solid this time, really good. And check it out, it's just an old key. Not much merit to it, except for 
it increases the key collection but that's impressive it jumped on that thing hard with all that iron I'm liking it well it had a little bit of a choppy signal just dug out a really chewy um, zinc penny right here and just right next to it check it out got a dozer or something backhoe there you go not very old my oh that's a skid steer that's what it is skid steer with a front end loader or a, a bucket attachment love that my kids will be happy with that one well old Mikey and I are in the backyard now and we think that this might have been an old house back here trying to figure out why they would have put the clothesline here even though it's newer poles it's interesting that they would have come way back here to do it I had a signal here and really worked it and I don't know what it is but it's a big disc and I'm thinking maybe a another tag of some sort but I don't know worst case scenario would be nothing on it but I don't know let me put it to my britches real quick it's just a big tag of some sort could just be a blank which is gonna really stink if that's the case can you see anything on it looks like it's hold oh it does have numbers here and it says load 3 16 load 16 that's a 6 you knucklehead load 16 and then it does have something on this side I just don't know what so maybe it doesn't looks like it does huh anyway I'll clean it up and uh, get you a picture of it so you can see if in fact it is anything but finding lots of tags back here I'm okay with that well Mike and I moved on to a permission that we have hunted before this is a late 1800s built house we pulled some real goodies out of here we thought, why not come back and see if we can't get a lot of iron in this yard? So we thought, let's try to pick something out. Now, I had a signal here. This is close to where Mikey found his barber quarter. A lot of iron, a lot of iron. I was able to single out a signal, and it was deep. We pulled some Indians before from here. This could just be a zinc, but it had depth to it. Thought I'd just expose it together. Oh, it's, a, it's actually a nickel. So I got another target in here I got to find, and that's just a Jefferson, so yucky, yucky. Huh, that is interesting. So I'm going to fish another target out here. There's got to be a penny. I literally dug that, took two steps, got another signal. Now I have not looked at this one, but you can see it looks green, doesn't it, folks? Don't know. It feels light. Could be a wheat penny. I think that's what it is, isn't it? Yeah. Gonna be an early wheat, I would guess. I say I, early, I don't know, I can't see. Too bright on my phone here, but hopefully it's one I need. Anyway, I love it. Well, I haven't even made one pass around. I already have a wheat. I have an Indian. I think I have another Indian right there. Just slid down. Could be a could be a weed, I guess. No, 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 no. That's an Indian. A little bit chunkier than the other. Than the other one, but... Oh, man. Let me see if I can get a little bit of that dirt off gently. No. This one's going to take some picking. It's in pretty rough shape. little moisture to it normally don't but I'm gonna add a little bit just to see if I can get no can't get that off anyway it will clean up and I'll get you a date looks like another 07 maybe oh so, anyway okay so I'm moving this way I swing across get that signal there that's the Indian fill the hole swing back boom just got this up don't know if it's an Indian it's got a pretty good shot at it just because of Location, proximity, and depth. But this one might be looking like maybe a wheat penny. Yeah, this one's going to be a weedy, which is still good. Happy as I'll get out with a wheat penny. That would explain why it rang up a little bit different than the Indian. So, love it. 
these are absolutely the kind of yards that we love. Mikey's videoing. I'm videoing. What'd you get? A heart. Good job. Got a heart. I got weedy number three. I think it's an early one. In the teens, I believe. So, anyway, not worth a whole lot, but Weedy King Championship is on the line. And I think that ties me if he hadn't dug any. Hmm, we'll see. So, I'm trying to learn my machine, you know, and I asked Mikey on this signal. He said, Well, I'd go ahead and dig it probably. And I'm glad I did. It's a fog. Don't know what kind. Not very old, I don't think. Hard to say. Okay, seeing what it says. I'm going to zoom in. That way I can see with you guys. Maybe Michigan. Creed. Who knows. Huh. Not sure on that, but that's fantastic. I'm finding some fobs lately. I love it. That's what I needed. The Amphibio to get back and get me some good stuff. <laughs> Alright. Love it. Well, I got an update. He had five earlier, but he's busted two in the meantime, so he had me down seven to three. I came out right next to the sidewalk strip. This wasn't deep at all, as you can see. I believe it's a 34. Let me zoom. Is that what you guys are seeing? 34D. So, depression era wheat scent. I'll take it. Don't ever count me out. <laughs> that puts me up to five. I believe it's a 17. Woohoo! Alright, I'm making headway on him. He's got eight. I just busted another one. That makes six for me. Can't tell on the date. I think it's in the 40s, maybe? Anyway, I gotta turn it up a notch. Well, I'm making my way out towards the sidewalk. Had a good signal. Popped that up. Don't know what it is. Just popped up. And it's gonna be just junk. Well, doggone it, I was kind of hoping for a token or something, but no, just junk. Well, guys, I might have a gooder here. I finished the front part of the yard, and I come up to hit the side part over here, working it down the fence line here. Had a signal that was a good signal. Um, a little bit low, but check out what I just saw in my plug there, guys. I just exposed it. I'm hoping it is a ring, and it is be a good one don't be a junker oh it's probably going to be a junker of some sort doggone it had some good depth to it I think it's just going to be it's awful light it's probably aluminium doggone it I thought I had me a gold one oh well it's a good effort well dirty dog says he's at 9 I thought I was 1 away I'm at 7 now can't really see the date, 20 something maybe. Tickled with it. Oops, dropped her. I'll find it. There it is. Woohoo! No, well, probably gonna be my last target of the night. Um, machine's going nuts. Got a lot of interference here, right underneath some power lines. Anyway, had a uh, good signal, nice solid out here. And I got that. And I don't know what that is. I just sucked my latch up, popped it up. I think it's probably junk. Oh, it looks like a face. Whoa, wait a minute. Wait a minute. It's a turtle. What's that say? Survivor. It is a turtle. Wow. Huh. Maybe for breast cancer or something? I'm not sure. It just says Survivor all over it. That is really cool. Huh. Interesting. I think it's stainless steel, but... Not a hundred percent sure. If you know anything about it? Let me know, cause I'm clueless. Hmm. Nice find, though.